just got off riding that bike. Uh, the sitting, the seating position is really comfortable. So I'm waiting my, uh, with my bike over here on the lift to be serviced and uh, Brendan from BMG, the owner says to me, hey, what are you doing? You gotta wait for a few hours over here. You wanna ride anything to do some content? I said, yeah, sure. He says, go choose what bike you want. So I'm gonna be testing out to the Triumph Rocket 3, something exactly like that. That's actually uh, a new one. I'm gonna be using one of their pre-owned. And I'm gonna take it the first time I'm on the Triumph, the Rocket 3 is supposed to be really cool. They're getting the bike ready for me right now. Well, I've seen this bike quite a few times. Apparently it's really, really cool, very fast. 2,500 cc, uh, three cylinders. It's got 160 horse, 160 torque. So let's start her up. Let's try the Triumph 3R. First time. Actually, it's the biggest, biggest displacement bike I've ever ridden. 2,500 cc. It's a 3 cc. I mean, a three-cylinder makes sense, uh, but it looks definitely like a three. Three in the intake, three in the exhaust. Swing arm, single side kind of a bobber style let's just give it a try and take it out for a spin he said have fun don't get arrested <laughs> oh sounds nice okay nice brakes let me get the mirrors done feels very smooth actually what rider mode am I on right now? Sport. No, I'll, I'll go start with rider, then we'll figure it out. Wow, it pulls. Wow. It's nice. And it sounds great. <laughs> oh, man. when you, It's interesting. When I, when I hit... When I hit the uh, hit the uh, the gas while the clutch is in, I literally feel the bike twisting. Oh man, do you see that? You see the bike twisting? It's because the I don't know why it is, but there's like a twisting motion. Oh wow! It's such a deep deep rumble wow feels good oh it pulls that's what 160 horses do 160 foot pound that's the torque is it foot pound or torque not sure oh it feels good Dude, this is a fast bike. How's the braking? Oh, braking on this is fucking good. Whoa! <laughs> the seating position is very comfortable. My feet, uh, my legs are, I would say, 90 degrees. And my uh, my feet my feet are just underneath my knees. 
they're not as stretched forward as uh, on my ST, like forward controls. These are mid controls, I would say. But they're very comfortable because there's a perfect 90 degrees between my shin and my uh, and my thighs. I don't know. It's, it's a very comfortable seating position. Okay, I'm missing the... I'm not positioning my brake pedal. There you go. Is it water? Is it liquid cooled? I think it is. Look. You see how there's there's that movement. I don't know why. But you don't feel it when you're when you're in gear. Oh. Wow. It's very smooth. A very smooth bike. Let me go over here. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was at 110. Oh, this is a powerful bike. 2,500 cc's. Naked, no fairing. Wow. This is a strong bike. It's a very, very quick bike. There's cruise control. Let me try it out. Let me see how... Red line is at six and a half. But it's extremely, extremely torquey. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It's, it's, there's zero, there's absolutely the smallest fairing over here, a windshield. So you feel the wind in your face, on your chest. Seating position is really nice, really comfortable. It's a delight, delightful bike. It's a nice bike. Now I'm on rider mode, I don't know what rider mode, let's see what. Rain, I guess it's de uh, detuned or like underpowered road. And then there's sport. I imagine sport is the throttle response and uh, the wheelie protection, I think. Although, I don't know. Yeah, probably with 160 horsepower and this amount of torque, the bike would wheelie easily. But I'm This is a rocket. <laughs> no doubt it's a rocket. It's a good name. They chose a very appropriate name, Rocket. It is a rocket. I'd like to thank Brendan. Thank you so much. He just walks up to me. He's like taps me on the shoulder. Hey, you want to ride a little bit? Ride or bike? I was like, yeah, yeah. I just woke up. Like, yeah, give me a second. He says, what do you want to ride? I said, what? I can choose any? He says, go ahead. Walk around, choose what bike you want to ride. I said, let me try the rocket. I've never been on a rocket. He set it up for me while they're working on my Royal Enfield. Oh, wow. This is so powerful. So, Brendan, thank you so much. BMG. BMG have been always, always good to me. The pipe on it, the exhaust on it is very deep and I would say quiet. So I don't think people uh, hear me when I come up from behind them. Maybe uh, a different pipe if you want it no, uh, to be uh, louder. 
drop a gear. Oh my god. Now we're cruising, I'm, I'm cruising 90. And uh, bike is, is cutting, cutting the air straight. No wobbling, no, no buffeting. And again, that's that. There's that when I drop. Oh, I didn't check if they have a quick shifter. No, they don't. The bike does not have a quick shifter. But it has that that strange. You see? Look. It twists. The bike twists a little bit when you when you rev it in neutral. I wonder why. Probably the the pistons are not centered exactly. So I turned around, swapped the placement of of the go of the 360 camera and I'm gonna ride back slow speeds slow speeds on the bike are are very very easy it's not this bike is not as nimble as my ST maybe it's the geometry the geometry of the rake or the trail I'm not sure but uh, it's not it's not a nimble bike in terms of uh, but it's not lazy either it keeps a line it likes to hold the line let's put it that way and it pulls and it pulls <laughs> oh, boy, it pulls. This is a very nice bike. What is it good for? I would say it's good for um, cruising, not touring, cruising. I would say an hour, two hour ride. Seating, uh, the sitting, the seating position is really comfortable. It's a, it's a fun ride, but there's very little wind protection, if at all, because just this, just this little windshield over here, a windscreen, to deflect some of the wind, you know, from the chest area. My upper body is exposed, and that's what gives this a great feeling, because uh, you're open to the elements, and and you feel, you feel the bike, you feel the road. Let's. Let's fly by these guys. Hello. <laughs> it's a rocket. It just it just tempts you to do stupid shit. Absolutely. Let me let me calm down before I do something stupid. I got bugs all over my my windshield, my uh, helmet uh, windshield. It's very smooth, by the way. Zero vibrations from the engine or from the suspension. Suspension is extremely good. Braking power on it is great. I didn't see if it has, yeah, I think it has two discs. Yeah, it has two discs up in the front. Braking power is really good. It's a big, it's a big displacement. 2,500, it's probably a heavy bike, I'm not sure. But it doesn't feel heavy. It feels really planted, it feels I mean, the geometry of this bike is just great. It's a nice, it's a really nice bike. It's a joy to ride. You're not, I'm not upright, but I'm not laid down completely. Somewhere in the middle. And uh, it's just perfect. There's no need to change anything on this bike. You know, we're used to being Harley, Harley uh, riders. We always get on a bike and we try to figure out what can we change? What can we do to the bike to improve? The ride, the noise, the power, the seating position, the comfort, everything. 
and this is one of these bikes that there's just there's nothing needed to do maybe 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 just the exhaust if you want to have a little bit more uh, uh, noise but you really don't need it it's a joy to ride it has a few modes I've, I've walked through before sport mode you know it gives you more aggressive a more aggressive throttle response I don't know if it does anything to suspension you have a sport rider I guess rider is the standard then there's rain which is reduced yeah more sluggish more sluggish uh, throttle response probably the braking also a little bit uh, I imagine it has all the possible electronics uh, ABS and lean uh, link ABS all the smart modes plenty of torque the only thing that is missing is music and that's something I get in my helmet so oh yeah brakes are very strong very bitey they bite Oh, it sounds like a very uh, heavy displacement. It sounds like like a car. <laughs> wow. Just got back to BMG Sport, Power Sports, and realized my battery ran out. My GoPro ran out of batteries. Got here, look, uh, this is what happens when you ride high speed <laughs> with no fairing. Look at all the bugs. Let me do a little walk around for you beautiful bike this is a rocket 3 the triumph rocket 3 dual brembos in the front great stopping power huge radiator in the front radiator for the liquid cooling two front headlights looks really cool the drive shaft really nicely designed bike extremely powerful. It was fun. It was a fun, fun bike to ride. Thank you so much. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Sandy. You're watching Holy Shift. Until the next video, guys. Peace out. Here's another Rocket 3. Exactly the same bike as I've been on. Different color scheme over here. This nice Chrome with black, fuel tank, brand new. Rocket 3, look how pretty it is. It's a pretty machine.